Okay, so this week's uh, shir is being dedicated Le'ilui Nishma So Isha HaChashuva Bluma Basri Befrayim Menlo Ole HaSholem who who whose levaya was today Tehei Nishma So Tzura B'Tzur HaChayim and may this chus of our learning be Le'ilui Nishma So So you know in Parshas Koyrach after HaKadosh Baruch Hu uh, created the nace and the, the earth swallowed up Koyrach and Adas Koyrach and, and the Adas Koyrach and after the Magaifa and after the Maisak Torahs and the Priche of Mate Aharon. So it says like this, Vayoymru b'nei Yisrael al Moshe Leimor, Hein govanu ovadnu, kulonu ovadnu. They were overcome with fear. How, what, what, what's our future going to look like? After they saw the great Oynish that happened, the Korach Vadosoy, they said, Hey, Govanu, Avadnu, Kulonu Avadnu, Kol Hakorev, Hakorev El Mishkan Hashem, Yomus, Ho'im Tamnu Legvoya. So Rashi says, Kol Hakorev, Hakorev, Zok Rashi, Ain Onu Yechoilam Liyoy Zihirim, Bekach. I mean, it's it's too difficult for us to be careful not to enter too far into the mikdash. Kulonu rashoyim lehi konis lechatzar oyel moed. We're all allowed to enter the chatzar oyel moed. Va'echod sheyakriv atzmo yosem mechaveron v'yikonis lesoich oyel moed yomus. And somebody's going to go a bit too far is going to die. That's. Uh, that's that's too much for us to handle. And the next Rashi says, So it's clear that they were afraid that the, 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 they'll be over on the Avera of entering too far. And that's coming as a consequence of uh, what just happened. They saw what happened to Karach Vadosa, who wanted to enter into the Mikdosh, wanted the Kohone Gedoyla. And as it says before, in the time of Yonis and from us, there are those that were burnt with fire. Uminon is And there were those of us that were swallowed up by the earth, and they're gone. Okay, so on the Pasik called Hakorev, Hakorev El Mishkan Hashem, says Hakorev Hakorev. What's the Kefal Aloshan? The Nitziv is medaktik that not only does it say hakorev hakorev, but there's a mafsik, which is like a comma between the first hakorev and the second hakorev. Says the Nitziv, yesh mafsik bein hakorev hakorev. Lelamdeinu de ein shtei hatevois halolu b'mashmoos achas. The second hakorev means that he'll physically enter, but the first hakorev is describing the madrega of the person. He says, the He's a korev. He's somebody that wants closeness to the Rebbe Shalom. This is what they're crying out about. They're complaining that anybody that's going to have the urge for Kirva Selikim, somebody that's going to want to have Dveikus, nothing will be able to hold them back from entering the Holy of Holies. Because every Yid can have a moment of, 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 of a spiritual quest. And then who's, who's going who's gonna to be able to survive this Nisoya? So, and this comes by Hemshif to what the Nitziv says in the beginning of Pasha's Korav, that Abad and Korav Vadosi weren't simple people, and it was all about wanting to be closer to the Rabbeinu Shiloh. Okay, so now we understand that Klal Yisrael is worried. Who's going to be able to hold back from entering? So what comes now? 
It says, Vayoy me Hashem al Aharon, Ato uvanecha ubeis avicha, Tisu es avoy na mikdash. Vigam es achecha mate levi, Shevet avicha, Hakrev itcha, Vilovu olecha viyashor asucha. Vato uvanecha itoch lefnei oil o edus, Vishomru, Mishmartecha, Umishmeres kola oil, Ushmartem es Mishmeres akoidish, Ves Mishmeres amizbeach, Velo ye oid ketsev alben esro. So Rashi says, that now there's a tzivui, that Aharon is in charge of Takonas Yisrael to make sure that they don't enter the Migdash. And the next one is, the next Rashi says, Tisu es avoyin ha-Migdash, Aleichem ani matil, Atem teishvu v'tazhiru al kol zor ha-boliga. And then it says, V'yishor esucha, Bishmiras Hasha Orin. The Loya Ketsev, Kamoshik Vahoyo, Kiyotsa Ketsev. So from these Psukum, we actually learn the mitzvah of Shmiras Ha Mikdosh. As the Rambam says in Seif Ha Mitzvah, Mitzvah Sasech of Beis, Shetzivonu Lishmur Ha Mikdosh, the Loleche Svivoi Tomit, Lechabdoi, Leroimemoi, Ulegadlo. For who Amore Lahar and Vaato Uvanecha Itoch Lefne Aroina Edis, which means you should be positioned. Lefne Aroina Edis. Right, so Loyma Atem Tiuli Lefonai Tomit. And that's the mitzvah of Shmir Samigdish. Ukvar Nichpal Zeat Sivui Boloshan Ache, who Amore, who Vishamru Es Meshmeres Oyomoy. So these Psukim are telling us in two different Lashonis the mitzvah of Shmir Samigdish. But as I state this, the free and it's a free Zutta on these Psukim. And so it appears in the Chinuch. The Chinuch says in Mitzvah Shem Peches, she nitztavu ha-koyhanim v'halavim lishmor ha-mikdosh v'lo leches svivoy tomit. K'day l'chabdoi l'roi memoi u'lefaroi. Loi me hayoi shum pachad me oyev chalila. Shmiris ha-mikdosh, guarding the mikdosh is not because we're afraid that somebody is going to come and conquer the mikdosh. It's not a pachad of an oyev, of an enemy. And the mitzvah is shenema v'shomru es meshmeres oyomoy v'loshen sifri v'ato v'necho itoch lefnei oyeloides hakoyanim mibefnim balavim af mibachutz. They were positioned in the different places. Kaloimar lishmer oisoy v'loleches vivoy. He may his boy sheshmirotsoy mitzvus asehi v'shom nemar oid. It says also in the sifri gedulo lemigdish sheyesh olaf shemrim. It's a gedulo for the migdish. That the Migdash has Shemrim. Because Einoi Doime Palterin Sheyesh Oleo Shemrim. The Palterin Sheyesh Oleo Shemrim. A palace that has guards is, an, is, 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 is more Choshev. It's a Gdula for the palace that it has guards. Viyotu Asher Palterin Huaheich. And so also it says in the Rambam in Reish Pei Ches Milchit Beis Abkhir, Shmir Samigdash Mitzvah Say. Va'afal Pisha Ein Shom Pachad Me Oivim Oimi Listim. Now, these psukim, I mean, from which we're learning the mitzvah of Shmir Sam English, are coming behemshech to the fear that Klal Yisrael has that kol ha-korev ha-korev, they have a fear that they'll enter. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in, in response, puts the Kayanim and the Levim in charge. So the Chorah is very clear that the mitzvah of Shmir Samigdish is to make sure that Yisraelim are not nichnes into the Migdash, where they're not allowed to. But, so it's, 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 it's amazing that the Sifri, the Sefer Mitzvah Laramba, the Chinuch, they, they, they say no, they say the mitzvah is a covenant. And they don't even say that it's not to block people from coming in. They say it's not to defend the Migdash from an enemy, and not to defend the Migdash from thieves. But what about the defending, I mean, making sure that people don't walk in, which is the Pashtis HaKsuvim. The Emma says that they go in, in the beginning of Tomit on the Mishnah, in the first parak, so the guy says, "Hi, Shmira, mefurish beseidah koirach mishum shaloi kanes zar besoichai." That the Shmira is 
<coughs> in order to make sure that a czar doesn't enter. So it's a it's Pele Ploim that's a Sifri Zuta, the Rambam and the Chinuch are all saying that the Shmira is because it's a Gdula le Mikdash to, to make the Mikdash into a palterant Shiyashal of Shemir. Le Chabdo, le Roimemai, or le Gadlo. Le Chari, it's against the Pashtas Aksuvi. Yeah, and then they're not even saying why it's not in order to uh, make sure that people don't enter. They're only saying that why it's not to 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 to, to protect the migdash from ganov. But but what about what, what about uh, the past is like suvi? Bemis, just like the Rambam and the Chinuch say, the Ramban also says in Parshas Bamidbar, he says v'tam v'shomru alavim as mishmeres mishkan oedes she yishmeru oisay balaylo v'yelchu sviva mishkan k'moy shomru hakoyanim shomru mibefnim balavim mibechutz. Which is also a matter of COVID Hamalchus. <coughs> so, where is all this coming from? That the Shmir Samigdish is about COVID. But the Emmas is that if you if you if you if you think about it, the the Pirte Hahalochis, the, the, the details of Hilchis Shmir Samigdish indicate that. It's not in order to block the Zorim from entering the Migdash. Because if you look at the Mishnah in the beginning of Tomit and Midas, the same Mishnah appears, the first Mishnah in Tomit and the first Mishnah in Midas, it says that where did they stand? Where did the guards stand? They stood in the five Sha'orim of the Harabais and the four corners of the Harabais. And also in the five Sha'orim of the Azorim and the four corners of the Azorim. And besides for these Shaimrim, which were Levian, there were also Kayanim that were Shaimrim. And those were they were in three places: base Hamoikid, the base Aftinas, or the base Hanitsoits. Now, if we're talking about blocking Zorim from coming into the Migdish, a Zor is allowed to enter the Harabais. I mean, why would we have Shaimrim on the on the Sha'orim of the Harabais? And even in the Azara, I mean. He's allowed to enter yud, till Yud Aleph Amis. We should put the Shemrim by the Yud Aleph Amis. And also, what is it that they will Shemrim in the corners of the Harabais and the corners of the Azara? That's not a place of entry at all. And also, I mean, the Sha'are Ha Azara were Nin Al Balaila, they locked it. Why would you need a Shemrim if the doors are locked? If what we're trying to do is to make sure that they don't enter. Now, actually, the Rambam in Hilchus Beis Abchira says that the Mishnah, the mitzvah of Shmira, was only at night, and so says the Chinuch. The, the Menchus Chinuch says that he doesn't know the source for this. But if we're talking about blocking Zorim from entering, there's no reason we shouldn't do it by day. Also, and Azir Abba, in the summer by day, Bishas Tavayde, there's more Shash that Zorim will enter. So it seems from all this pretty clear that this is not about uh, not about blocking the Zorim from entering. But how does this stem with the Psukim? I mean, the Psukim seems to be saying clearly that this is a response to the fear that Klai Yisrael has that they'll enter the Migdash. Okay, so I want to say like this. In the Chinuch, he says, Mishoroshe mitzvizoy, mashik osavti, kamapom, ki b'chvoid abayis, when the bias is mechobedik, when the bias has its dignity, when the bias is respected, that's a siba loses moiroi elev b'neyada. People that will bring them to fear the megdos. Umikvoi doishel habayis lemanois all of shoimrim kederach hamalochim agdoi lemashe baoretz sheyasuke. So the fact that the Chinuch says that COVID brings Moira, we actually find that idea in the Shittim Ukubetzes in the Ksubis Daf Yud Zayin, where the Gemara says that a Melech Shemochal al Kvoidoy Ein Kvoidoy Mochal, we learn it from Saint Tosim Alech al Melech. So the Shita says, what, what, how do you see over here that Melech Shemochal al Kvoidoy? And what does this pasuk have to do with COVID? This pasuk we learn. Says the chinuch that from we learn 
but the the that's mechayev covered because in order to preserve the aima, there has to be covered. When there's no covered, there will be no aima. And therefore, the covet, you can't be Michael the covet because the covet is not the chiyuv. The chiyuv is the aima. And the covet is to protect the aima. And therefore, melech shemachal al kvoidei ein kvoidei machal liksif soim tosim alecha melech, which teaches us that hey, ein mosay alecha. And that's the shorish of the chiyuv covet. Memela, the covet is not something that the king could be Michael because the covet is there for the aima. So I'm just saying over here, you see this idea that covet brings to Amo, brings to Yerit. But Lechore, if the Shmira is covered to the bias, so from where is the Chinuch coming when he says that the covet is to bring Amo? I mean, maybe the covet is for the, for the sake of covet. I mean, if he wants to interpret the mitzvah of Shmira Samigdish in terms of Kovoid, maybe that's the end of the story, that the mitzvah of Shmira Samigdish it's for the purpose of making the bias mechubit. From where did he get this dre that we want the bias to be mechubit? Because that will bring us to fear the megdosh. So I think the pshat is poshit because Bamas is mefurish in the psukim that the shmira is in order to make sure that a czar doesn't enter the megdosh. So you can't say that the shmira is just to make the bias mechubit. But what we're saying is like this. What will hold people back from entering the Mikdash? Moira Mikdash. It's not that we're going to physically block their way. There's a, there's a chash that people are going to enter the Mikdash. We say, but if there'll be Moira Mikdash, they won't enter the Mikdash. How do we create a, 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 an atmosphere of Moira Mikdash? By making the bias Mechobit. What makes the bias mechubed is the the shmiras amigdish. It becomes a palter in sheyeshal of shomrim. Ah, it becomes a palter in sheyeshal of shomrim. So then the pshat is that that people will have will have the covet. They'll have the the aimo. and the mail It'll be taka. That's the way of a shomrim shmeras amoyed and v'zor lo yikrevale. And 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 the. We 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 MS, we we see a, a czar that that enters. I mean, he he doesn't defile the migdos. He's just over on a issa that's on the kaf the gavra. He, he did it in avera. And Mimela, you can't say that blocking people from entering the migdos is shmiras amigdos. It's shmiras the people from being over in avera. But the migdos is no. The Migdish is not the compromise when somebody walks into the Migdish. So therefore, why do you mean Shmiras Amigdash? So the Pshad is that the Shmiras Amigdash is really Lechabdoi Leroy Memoy Olafaro. But Durch them, Memela is Vizar Laikra because the COVID will bring Moira. And that also explains why the Sufri Zutta doesn't even have a half a minute that the Shmira is in order to block the thieves because that wouldn't be a Shmira of the Migdish. I mean, that's the only, forget the, 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 the Sifri Zutta, that's his half a minute. That maybe we have to protect the Migdash from Ganovim. But he doesn't have a half a minute that you have to protect the Migdash from Zarim, because the Migdash is not compromised by the Zarim. So the Pshad is like this, but the, the, the Mitzvah is, as we're saying, to, to, to make sure that Zarim don't enter. But how do you make sure that Zarim don't enter? That's by making the Migdash Mechobu. The Emma says, you know, we can moisiv zayin. The Rambam and the Chinuch say that the mitzvah of Shmiras Amigdish comes from the psukim in this week's parsha. Lachora, we already have it in parshas Bamidbar. In, in parshas Bamidbar, Kapitel Aleph, pasuk Nun Gimel, it says, "Va'alaviim yachnu saviv lemishkan ha'edus v'lo yeketzev al bnei Yisrael v'shamru alaviim as mishmeres mishkan ha'edus." And then it says, "Hakrev es mata halevi v'amadetz oisil ufneihar." Rashi says, So why do the Maynia Mitzvahs bring the Mitzvah out of this parsha and not from the earlier Psukim? So, I mean, I'm saying that maybe you could say that the Psukim and Parshas by Midbar are talking about a practical Shmira to block the Zoram from entering. But in this week's parsha was Neschadish the Kovid. Why? 
Because in Parshas Bamidbar, we're talking about people answering Mitech Kalos Rosh. People answering Mitech Kalos Rosh. So, so you could block them. But here we're talking about Kol HaKorev, Korev, like the, like the, like the Nitziv says, Azo Kamove Sahava. We're talking about people that are overcome with uh, an urge of Dveikus. Those people you can't block. The only way to make sure that those people don't enter is by instilling a Moira Migdash through the Kvoit Migdash, which will instill a Moira Migdash. You know that it says, Lahagit Shvoche Shalahan Shalashino. So, so, um, Rashi, Rashi says, you know, in El Mopne Amanoir. So, why would I, why would the Aaron yet be Mishana? I mean, what's the big Shvach that he wasn't Mishana? So, I heard from my Rebbe, Rebel Soloveitchik, that the Chsita Shirebbe said, that Amomi Roivis Lavas. Yeah, you might be Mishana from the Halacha. And that's why it's a Shvach for Ahan that he, 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 El Mupna Amanoir. He did it exactly the, in the right direction. But he is, but that's as good if you hold that the psilis have to be El Mopnamanar. But if it's the cops, the Neiroids, like the Shitas Arambam, so that was uh, that was uh, Kavu and the Menor. I mean, he, he couldn't change it. I mean, it was it was there already. But Sal made it. So what do you mean, Shiloshina? So he said, No, you see that with Midgrace's Lavas, Hak, it's a brach in the Menor. Yeah, so 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 you see that that's the Azakamov is the Hava. In other words, such people you can't block. So the only way that we can make sure that it doesn't happen is by is by uh, is by is is by instilling in them the Moira Migdish through the Kvaida Migdish. Okay. Now now uh, this mitzvah of Shmir Samigdish, we find it in the first mission of Masefta's Tamid, and once again in the first mission of Masefta's Migdish. It says exactly the same Mishnah. So I've had that we have to understand why the Mishnah repeats the same thing. And also, Mela, that it's in, I mean, in Masech Tis Tamid, we understand because Tamid talks about the Avaitis that are done in the Mikdash, and this is also one of those. But Masech Tis Midois, what's Masech Tis Midois? The Rambam says in the Akdamat of Pirish Shemesh Nais, Midois HaMikdash, Vitsu Rosoi, Uvin Yonai, Vecholin Yonai. No, what does the Maitre Shmira have to do with the Midas Amigdash? How does this Mishnah come into Masechtas Midas? But according to these Rishonim, it's, 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 it's very Gishmak, because the Amis ain't a doyma palter and shiyash of shemel, a palter and shemel of shemel. So this is part of the Tzuris Abayas. It's a bias with shemel. So it belongs in Masechtas Midas, not only in Masechtas Tamid, but also Masechtas Midas. But what is it belonging in Masechtas Tamid now? I mean, Tamid is about uh, the Avaitis Hayoim and the Beis Amigdash. So the Mefarish says, "Mishum de boyel lo oiri b'maisid de tamid avoidus kayanim, nokat chiler shmiroson umakam shchivoson ashu masadik al asayde." Because we're going to start talking about avoidus that kayanim do in the mikdash, so we start with a shmir. But I want to say a little different, you know. So I I, I told you that the Rambam and the Chinuch say that the mitzvah of shmir samikdash is only at night, and the Mechus Chinuch wonders where is that coming from. The Amis, it's even. It's not just a question of where is it coming from, but it's a bigger shayla because Bishloime, if it's just about keeping Zorim out, you could say that during the day when the Kayanim are there anyway doing Avoida, they'll make sure that the Kayanim, that Zorim shouldn't come in. But Balayla, when there's no Avoida going on, so you have to have Shemir. But if the Shmir is about Kvoid Abais, like the Rambam and the Chinuch say, so Lechera, we don't understand why the mitzvah shmira should be only at night and not by day. So you know that the Pharisee Yisrael in the beginning of Tom, it says, Ki bayoim ain't tzorich shmira mipnei kovit. Ki al yidei haliches hakoyanim ono v'ono kulo yoy mekov. Avo balaylo she'ein bay avoyde tzorich lahar is kovit if dulu l'beis amigdash al yidei ha shmira. Oh, so 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 he says that really since the Rishonim are saying that the covet the the shmira is to enhance the covet of the Migdash, he says by day the covet of the Migdash doesn't have to be enhanced. It's kulo yoy me covet. Kayanim bavay dasam levim b'dechanav yisrob ma madam. It's kulo yoy me covet, and you don't need shmira. It's even gishmak according to the Rosh in the beginning of Tamid that says that the mitzvah of, of shmira is kvayid a Migdash shelo yosichu daito mimenu loy bayoyim v'loy balayim. That the covet is that there's no hesech adas from the Migdash. 
No, by yoyim, when there's an Asik of Avoid, there's obviously no moment of Hesach Hadas in the Mikdash, but at night we need Shmira in order that there should be no Hesach Hadas in the Mikdash. So the Fizek comes out that we need really a palter in, we need a palace that there's no Hesach Hadas from. By yoyim, it's Meskayim al Yudei the Tomid and all the Korban of Sayoyim. By it's Meskayim al Yudei the Shmira. So the Mishnah is Taka Magdim the Shmira, so the Avoid is Atomid, because the Shmira is the last thing before the Tamid, which kicks off the Avaid Sayoim, which is really has the same function as the Shmira. It's the Kuloyoy Mekavid. That's me Hilchis the Tzuris Amigdash. In other words, besides for the fact that the Avaidis have to be done and they're done in the Migdash, but the Avaidis that are done in the Migdash accomplish what Shmira Samigdash accomplishes. It accomplishes the Kuloyoy Mekavid. So the Mishnah. Introduces us to the Avodas Atomid and the Shara Avodas that are not every day with the Shmira, which is the last thing that takes place before we actually do Avodas in the Migdash. Okay, you know, it says, Vasuli Migdash Vishachanti Besoycho. They say, Besoycho Eloi Nema, Ela Besoycho, Besoycho Lechem Lechem Yisrael, that there's a sanctuary within every individual yid. Like the Pasik says in Yermia, Heichol Hashem Heimo. Like the Pasik says in Tilim, Oihel Shikain Ba'odam. Like Rabbi Yehuda Levi says, Bilavavi Mishkan Evre. Now, the Mikdash of Bilavavi also needs Shmira. And there are two ways that one can be Shoimer his Mikdash from foreign. Alien in Yonim entering into my personal sanctuary. What are the two ways? One way is like the Pasik says until him, Lamid Beis, Alti Yukesus Kefered Ein Hovin, the Meseg Varesen Edjoy Livloin Bal, Kroiv Elecha. Sometimes you could use a, 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 a Meseg Varesen, a muzzle. I don't know what, what's Meseg Varesen in English. But you know what I'm saying, like you, what, what you put on a behemoth in order that the behemoth shouldn't eat, in order that the behemoth shouldn't misbehave. So there's a mesek veresen, that's edjoy livlon. But there's another way. By making the sanctuary into a palter and sheyashol of shomrim, the roimimoy, the chabdoy, the gadloy, and mitoich the covet comes the year, memela. Memela is all the in other words, what keeps foreign elements out is not the Mesek Veresen, but what keeps the foreign elements out is because I have such COVID for my inner sanctuary, because I, I am make the greatness and the Mele, any alien thought is, 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 is out. You know, the Ramban says, in Chumash, in Parashat Yisrael, that the reason for Esed Eichelay Seser is because mitzvahs asay are rooted in Avo. Mitzvahs Loi Seser are rooted in Yira. And since Avo is greater than Yira, therefore asay is Doiche Loi Seser. zog de Heile Geramba. But you know, Yira itself is a mitzvah asay. Es Hashem Tira. And since the mitzvahs asay are rooted in Avo, so it comes out that Yira, which is rooted in Ava, is Bamis rooted in uh, Yira, which is is rooted in Ava. The, the Ramban is telling us that Yira is that that Ramban is telling us that Mitzvahs Loi Sase are Yira, but I'm saying and 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 Yira, but Yira is is rooted in Ava because because Yira itself is a Mitzvahs Ase, so. I mean, you know, Rabbi and Kalina used to say, in the leap shaft, that my yira is that I'm afraid to lose the love. That's my yira. So then you talk and see that the yira is rooted in Ava. It's yira. And that's what keeps me away from all the loisasas. But where is the yira coming from? The yira is coming from the Ava because a Oyev is, is concerned he doesn't want to lose the yira. He doesn't want to lose the Ava. And, and that's the year about which the Chinuch says, Ki b'chvoid ha-bayis, Siba, Lotseis, Moiro'oi, El-Leiv b'nei Odom. 
In other words, that's the Yiris Aroimimus, that we're afraid to let in anything foreign into our sanctuary. You know, the tefillah that we say when we leave the base Medrash is, which is by day when we're in the base Medrash and we're learning Torah, we don't need to emphasize the Maila of the Onu Mashkimim on the Heim Mashkimim, the Maila of the Onu Ratzim on the Heim Ratzim. Inside the base Medrash is Kuli Yomekovit. The Asik B'Torah is Memela Moinea Hesach Adas from the Kovit. But when it comes, when we leave the base Medrash, which is al the night, which is between the Tzmidim, when there's no Avoida, then we need a, a Shmira to preserve the, the Hergish of the Kovit for the oil Sheik and Ba'odam. And therefore we have to tell ourselves the Shivas of the Onu over the Heim. But as long as we'll know that Heichal Hashem Heima, as long as we'll know that the Vavi and we'll have the proper respect and covet for that, Mamela, it will bring the Yira and it will be Vizor Loi Yikrav Aleyem. Rabbi Sai, having said that, I'm going to seize this opportunity to wish you a good Shabbos.